Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. So we almost finished this module, which is amazing. So this is the class of today. And this is the question, the question for today. Also remember that we need to move on with the platform. It's very, very important that you finish this week, this weekend, the, everything, I mean, not only section one, two, three, and four, but also the final test. So that is very important. For Sunday, we need to finish everything. Uh, also remember that you are going to receive the link and the information for the survey. Remember that the Ease of Warp survey, we will do that together on Monday. That's the only thing. And there are just a few more homeworks that we need to finish like this one. Uh, that is just five questions and well at least by now that is it okay so we are going to check the attendance as usual okay let's see ada patricia linares galdames present teacher. good adriana stephanie martinez flores ana selmi chevez Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. 
o sea, Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Good Elena. Evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Good. Flo de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, perfect. So we are going to start the class of today. Present Nelson teacher. Ah, perfect. I will set you up right now. Thank you. I have problem my microphone. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so today actually we're going to check about a zero article. So uh, the first part, so to check what is this. Uh, do you remember that we checked that already on the book? So today we're going to make a, a closer approach in this. So Zulma, could you please read the first paragraph? Hello, Zulma. Okay, no problem. Osmin, could you please read the first paragraph? Okay, teacher. Good. In English grammar, the term zero article refers to an occasion in speech or right where a noun or noun plus not proceeded by an article A, N, or D. The, the zero article is also now as the zero determinate. Very good. So that is, the explanation is very simple, okay? So it says in English grammar, the term zero article refers to an occasion in speech. Do you know what is speech? What is speech? speech? Dialogue, teacher. To dialogue, to speak, right? The way that you speak, yeah. communicate, good. So in speech or writing, so when you speak or when you write, where a noun or noun phrase is not preceded by an article. So remember that in English we have, well, two articles, but three variants, okay? A and an, that is the same. And there. So only those are the articles. But a zero article means that there is no article. We don't use a, an, or the. No article. So the zero article is also known as the zero determinai. Let's continue reading, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ricardo, could you please read the second part? Not possible. Okay, no problem. Ada Patricia. 
Okay. In general, no article is used with proper nouns. Must nouns where the reference is indefinite or plural counts nouns where the reference or is definite. Also, no article is in general in generally used when referring to means of transport by plane or common expression of time and place at midnight in jail. In addition, linguists have found that in the regional variety of varieties. English varieties of English now is new Englishes, Englishes? Englishes. Omitting in article is often done to express non-specific. Very good. So this is like more clear, okay? So in general, we don't use an article with proper nouns. So for example, we don't say the Carla. No, right? So that is not possible. And uh, with mass nouns, so we don't say, uh, I don't know, the, uh, I don't know, we're going to check some examples in that one, but mass nouns is not like that, where the reference is indefinite. So that is the important part here. So when the reference is indefinite, we don't define what kind of mass noun is it, we don't use an article. Or plural count nouns, do you remember with the count nouns? So when we say, for example, um, we say an orange, but we don't say uh, the oranges. So when it's a specific, yes, but in general, we don't use the oranges. So we don't use an, another article, a or an article, uh, oranges is not possible. And uh, where the reference is indefinite. So uh, also no article is generally used when referring to means of transportation. So for example, we say by plane, not by a plane or not by the plane. So we don't use a, an, or the, the. Or common expressions of time and places. So for example, at midnight, we don't say at the midnight. So we don't, we don't say that one. Or in jail, we don't say in a jail. We say in jail, like in general, okay? In addition, linguists have found that in regional varieties of English known as new Englishes, omitting an article is often done to express non-specificity. So that is in general. I mean, I believe that that is the most common rule. So when it's not specific, we're not going to use an article. Uh, uh, listen what it says here. So it says that in uh, regional varieties, remember that Similar to Spanish, English is spoken in many countries, in many regions. So even in the US, if you are in, in the North, I mean, in Nebraska and all those con uh, places, or if you are in Mississippi or in Texas, people, they speak different, okay? So of course we need to take that in consideration. But in, in general, the rules in grammar are those. Do you have any questions before we move on? It's kind of easy, but maybe it's strange that we are speaking about a zero article. I mean, the only thing is that we don't use a, an, or the. When with nouns, with a mix of transportation, I guess at this point, everybody knows that one, but we don't know what is the name of that one. So for example, we know that we say at midnight, so that is something that we learned there in the basic one. But now we know why, right? Because there is a rule for that. Anyways, do you have any question about this? Teacher, in this case, the, the, the expression of time and place apply the old expression of the time and places. Uh, no, common expression, the, some of the common expression, but not all of those. Some of those, yes, you use a uh, or an or the, for example. Um, but I mean, that is something that, as I was saying, is something that we learned before, right? For example, we can say at school, at the hospital. So there we can say at the hospital, but not with school, at school. 
So when and where when not. What is the different teacher? I mean, the difference is something that we are learning throughout all the English classes. Um, it's just grammar and some expressions, they use it and some of those they don't use it. Why is the way that they do it? Okay. And uh, which ones do we use and which one we don't use? Well, this is like in general, but as I was telling you, this is something that we learned already. So for example, as I was telling you, we say at, we can say on at the hospital, uh, but we can say at the school. At school is the common expression. So um, is specific places that use the or no use because the the the, the grammar rule is not used. Exactly. The, the article. The, the, in, yes. Uh -huh. In this case, is memorize the places that don't use. That is it. So that is something that we already learned. Uh, so we just need to remember. And the only thing that we're checking at this point is what is the name of this one, and uh, that is it. I mean, but yes, there is like a, I mean, if we check the list of the places or the situations when we don't use it or when we use it, I mean, that is going to be very extensive. But it's something that the majority of those, not all of those, of course, but the majority of those we know already because we check that in the readings. That's why I present you a lot of readings because there you can identify and you can say, oh, there we don't use our hand or, or things like that one, right? Because it's like the, the best way for we to learn that kind of situation. Thank you, teacher. Of course, we're going to continue checking some other things. So uh, these are like other examples, right? Examples of the zero article. Um, Gloria, could you please read this one? Okay. In the following example, no article, the user before the... Uh, Italicized. Italicized now. My mother's name is Rose. I gave her a rose on mother, Mother's Day. Every mile is two in writer. Winter. Oh, no. Winter, perdón. Uh, this plant grows is uh, uh, Sandy. Sandy? Yes, Sandy. Sandy, yeah. Sandy soil on, and, and on the egg. Edges, uh -huh. edges of some swamps. Swamps. Okay. Uh, David Rockefeller was authorized to hold the position of director of the Council on Foreign, foreign Relations. Very good, perfect. So maybe here we can check about and compare what we do in Spanish and what we do in English. For example, the first one is the same in English and in Spanish. My mother's name is Rose, okay? That is something that we, we use in Spanish as well. El nombre de mi madre es Rosa, no la Rosa, right? So that is not correct. And the same happens in, in English. So it's not the Rose, it's only Rose. So that is, that is important. This is so, the, the similar rule with the Spanish teacher. This one the, it is. Mm -hmm. The noun or person mm -hmm. is write, omit the article. I guess you are right, but the thing is that in some situations in Spanish, we say La Rosa, La Rosa vino. So, that, that is, is it's not right, <laughs> but, you, but it's no the exactly. grammatical rule is exactly according according I, to according the, to the grammatical the, rule. The, the thing is that in Spanish is possible, but not in English. Never in English. In English is never possible, even if it's uh, informal or anything like that. It's not possible. The same happens with the second example. I gave her a rose on Mother's Day. So our rose here, yes, we have the article because it's not a name, it's just 
uh, the flower, right? But on Mother's Day, in Spanish, we say el día de la madre, but not in English, on Mother's Day. So that is totally different. So in this kind of situation, that, that is like, as we say before time, because Mother's Day is a date, even when you don't see a date there, and that's why we use on, uh, is going to be a date, a specific celebration date, that is a specific date. So this one is totally different, right? On Mother's Day, not on the Mother's Day. But as, as I was telling you before, this is something that we know already. We know that it's on Mother's Day. So since the very basic, right? The other one is also uh, the same situation as the second example. Every mile is two in not the winter. We can't say the winter. It's time, that one. And we don't use the with winter. Or uh, we say in spring, in autumn, but not in the. In Spanish, we say uh, el invierno, el verano, but not in English. That is not possible. <clears throat> Let's check the next one. It says this plant grows in a sandy soil. Okay, not in the, but in a or no, not possible. It's going to be in sandy soil. What is sandy? Do you know what is sandy? Sand is the, the sand and the, the beach. Sandy, oh my God. <laughs> Sandy is the adjective. adjective. No, I don't know, teacher. Yeah, actually, you're right. <laughs> it's exactly sand. what you say. Sandy is an adjective that means a place with a lot of sand. Okay. That is it. It's like sunny. <laughs> it's like sunny, huh? Sunny. And the is... sun and the sunny. Okay. Uh -huh. So Sam <laughs> and Sandy, right? Okay. So if you know a person that is called Sandy, it's Arenita, right? That's her name. <laughs> okay, very good. Soil. What is soil? Anybody knows? Okay, soil is, uh, for example, when you are going to plant a beautiful flower, you get a hole in the soil, and sometimes you get more soil and put that into that one. So that is soil. So it's the land, right? Something like that. But if the soil is like a piece of that. So here is like this plant grows in a in now in that and not in the sandy soil. It's going to be in sandy, no a no the. But in Spanish, we can say el suelo, la tierra, right? But not in English, soil, okay? That is the difference. Uh, the other one says, and on the edges of swamps. Do you know what is swamp? Swamp, the monster of the swamp, who say sometimes. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know teacher, but I can I, I don't know how can explain swamp. I know what is a swamp. It's a place, it's a place with mo mo no mo uh, yeah? mug. Mug, yeah. <laughs> with the maybe the alligator lives in swamp, no? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, Alligators yeah. they love swamp. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, a swamp is a place. It's a place that is in semi-tropical places that is between water and land and a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, it's a disaster, you know. I don't like swamps. And the smell is not good. And a lot of, I mean, mud, as Rose says. So this plant grows in sandy soil, not in the and not in that. And on the edges of swamps, no a ah, or the swamp, not possible. Edges, do you know what is edges? What is an edge? A border. In, mm -hmm, a border. Very good. It's like a border. Nice. So uh, these are specific places where we don't use 
an article. So this is a zero article, no article with soil, with swamp, with winter, with summer, okay? So the next one, it says David Rockefeller was authorized to hold the position of not the, not a, of director of, look at the, the council, there we use the, of foreign, not the foreign, of foreign relations. So when we're speaking about positions, director, principal, uh, positions like that, in general, not all of those, but in general, we don't use an article. So it's going to be just the word, no article. Uh, the same happens with foreign relations. That is like, like this one, for example, education. In, in most of the cases, we don't use, we don't say the education, we say education. Education in the US is changing every day, not the education, education only. So the same happens here with foreign relations. Okay, uh, what is foreign? other country. Uh -huh. Good, from other right. countries. Good. So let's check some more about the zero article, okay? There are differences as we were speaking. Let's see here. Wilfredo, could you please read the first part? Okay, teacher. The zero article in America. Mm -hmm. Okay. The zero article in American and British English. In American and British English, not article is used, used before words such as a school. Give me one moment. Let me move on. Okay. And as a school, college, class, prison, or camp, when these words are used in their institutional sense, the students start school in the fall. College provide opportunities for students to learn and meet new people. However, some nouns that are used with the definite, definite. definite article. In American English are not used with article in British English. When I was, when I was in a hospital, I often wished there were fewer hours in the day, American English. When Elizabeth was in a hospital, she was occasionally visited by her parents, British English. Very good. So sometimes maybe we're confused because of this. As we were saying before, sometimes depending on the country, on the city where you are, sometimes you are going to use this in different ways. But that the same happens in Spanish. I mean, if you go to Ecuador, if you go to Argentina, Spanish is different. I mean, here in El Salvador, if you go to La Union, sometimes it's different, right? So the same happens with English. And this is something that we need to consider with the zero article. So in American and British English, no article, so that is in both. That is in general, right? So no article is used before words such as school, college. College, remember, there is like a university. Okay, class, prison, or camp. When this word I use in their institutional sense, not the building, okay? So that is another thing that happens sometimes, okay? So if you say, what is my dog is in the school? We can say that because it's inside of the school, but the building. But if we are speaking about the institution, then we don't have to use an article. We don't have to use a, an, or the, okay? So for example, the students start school, not the school, okay? In the fall, the fall is like the autumn, okay? 
college, not the college, not a college. College provides opportunities for students to learn and meet new people. So whenever we're speaking about institution, no article. If we're speaking about the building, it's possible to use the article. So uh, it's not the word, but it's the usage of the word as all the English, right? Everything in English is that, the, the context, the way that we use, and depending on the context, sometimes even the pronunciation is different, like live and life, right? The same word has two pronunciation, live. I live in San Salvador, live. I like to see the band live in concert. The same word, two different pronunciations. So the same happens here. The same word, different context, we can use or we cannot use an article. So probably that's why sometimes we get confused because we see school and sometimes we, we see that it says the school. And sometimes we see that it doesn't say the school, it just says school. But it's because of this. This is the reason why. Any questions with the first part? Sure. Yep. And for example, if I want to say to another people that when I when I start university or I start the university. With the university, sometimes we can use that and sometimes not. If it's an institution, we can say uh, we can say there or not. So that depends on the context as well. But it's very common to use it with that. In that context um, that you say, for example, yes, you can say the university. I will I will start the university already. Okay, not university. Okay. You need to use that. Okay. 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 Teacher in the fall. Fall is the season. Uh, yes, fall is a synonym of autumn. So it's when in, all the leaves fall. In the case of this, the season mm -hmm. is right. Apply the article. Depending in the fall. Yeah, depending also in the context. Okay, uh, it's, it's kind of complex. I know this is a little bit confusing, but depends on the context. In this case, it said the students start school in the fall. So in these situations, yes, we can use that. Uh, but if we say, uh, what can I say uh, in a different example? Let me think. If we say, for example, in fall, the sun is also shining. There, in that context, we don't use that. We say only in fall. Also, sometimes we can use another thing like for, for the fall. So depending on many situations. Uh, but maybe the most common and the most important are about the institution. Those are the most important. For example, education. Um, we can say the education sometimes. And sometimes we say only education. So there. Sometimes it's possible and sometimes it's not. When he's speaking about institutional education in El Salvador, for example, is, is not going to have that. So that's why sometimes this, this topic uh, is taught uh, in this kind of levels because it's a kind of complex and there are no rules, but situations, context when we are going to use. And every war has their own context. It's not that sometimes it's possible like this, or there are five rules that we're going to apply. So there are different contexts that every word has in consideration. The most general are the, the ones that we are checking that are like for time that are common expressions, for places that are also common, for, um, I mean, different situations. Of course, uh, there are some words that we will never use there. For example, work. When we say she's at work, I mean, that is a word that we will never use an article with. So we can say, we never say uh, at work uh, in the context of, uh, I mean, the activity that you're doing, of course, uh, the work, you will say she's at work, okay? I am at work. So there are some words that yes, they never use an article, uh, but, there are many words that are going to depend 
on the context that we're using for. And the problem is that, for example, in the second part, depending if we are in the US or if we are in England, sometimes we are going to use the article and sometimes we're not going to use it. So it says, however, some nouns that are used with definite articles in American English are not used with articles in British English. For example, when I was in the hospital, look at this. When I was in the hospital, I often wished there were fewer hours in the day. But that is, of course, that is American English. In British, we are not going to say in the hospital. We're going to say in hospital. So it's exactly the same. When Elizabeth was in hospital, not the hospital, she was occasionally visited by her parents. So, rules for this one, we don't have rules. This is just like a briefly explanation for you to, to try to understand why we sometimes the article and why sometimes we don't use the article. When exactly we're going to say in the hospital or only in hospital, in my end, depends on where you are. Depends on the context, depends on many things. So there are no specific rules about this one. The only way for you to learn this one is to practice. To practice, to read, to identify. Something that is very important in English in the level that we are right now is that whenever you are reading, it's not only important to understand the idea, but also to identify those little things. Those little things that you say, oh, why? Why don't we use here the? I mean, that happens. That happens a lot in English. I know that there are many questions about this, but as I was telling you, this is like a briefly explanation. Every word has their own context. Every word has their own moment. And depending on many situations, yes, we can use that or not, or a uh, or an, uh, of course. So there is a little bit more. Let's see this a little bit more. Uh, this is not on the book. Uh, you saw that on the book, there is not explanation, right? But I, I wanted to show you a little bit more about this one. So let's see, uh, Jose Ernesto, could you please help me with this one? The theoretical teacher. Yeah, please. Okay, in the book, English Grammar, Angela Downing writes that the loosest and therefore most frequent type of generic statements is that the Present by the zero article with plural count nouns or with mass nouns. Count nouns are those that can form a plural, such as as though or cat in their plural form. Count nouns are sometimes used without an article, especially when they are referred to generically. The same is true when the noun is plural but of indefinite number. Dogs love to run around outside. The boy loves to play with toys. Mass nouns are those that cannot be counted, such as air or sadness. They also include nouns that are not usually counted, but that can be counted in some situation, such as water or meat. These nouns can be counted using certain measurements such as some or much. Clean air is important for a healthy environment. The man was overcome by sadness when he lost his home. Very good, perfect. I guess this rule is a little bit more clear. This is more general, more, well, actually more specific. So uh, for words that can be used in singular and plural, when we're talking about about them generally. So, in, for example, dog. So, dogs in general, every dog, all the dogs. 
So we are going to use that one with no article. But if we sp we're speaking about a specific dog, for example, uh, Gloria's dog, for example, you can say a dog, that dog. In that case, yes, we can use that. Uh, but uh, whenever this is like a generically expression, when we're talking about dogs in general, toys in general, uh, chairs in general, uh, cars in general, then we don't use an article. So this is, yeah, with a specific rule. This is very specific. And the same happens with the uh, known count, like air, uh, sadness. Of course, with those, we are not going to use an, uh, an article. But, I mean, for example, air. It says they're clean air because it's genera. Genetically, I mean. It's air in general. But for example, you remember that song that it says, there is something in the air tonight, in the air. So this is specific in this air where I'm here right now, not all the air in the planet, but the air here where I'm sitting down. So that is when might be the confusion that you can see sometimes the word with the, and sometimes the word without the. But the good thing is that this uh, rule is very general. I mean, if we're speaking about something in a generically way, I mean, everybody, all the dogs, uh, all the cats, all the sandwiches in the world. So we are not going to use an article. But if we're speaking about something that is specific, like my sandwich, her sandwich, then yes, we can use, depending on the context, a, an, or the. So this is, I guess, the easiest and maybe the most common. This is the most common one. Because the other one, the institutional, maybe is also very common. But for the rest of the words, uh, well, that depends on many situations. But this is the one that we are going to use the most when it's generically about something like that, something that is not specific. So it's in general speaking about some things. Any questions before we move on? No question, teacher. Very good. As I was telling you, this kind of grammar, I mean, it's just practice. This is practice. This is like, do you remember when we were talking about the reported speech, right? You understood, but I mean, you need to practice, right? And when you are speaking with somebody and they say something like that and you feel it strange, it's because this kind of rules. You say uh, something is going on there, right? If you continue practicing, and that is my recommendation for you, to practice this the more that you can, uh, then at the end it's going to be natural. For us, it's not natural because we always compare that with Spanish uh, all the time. I mean, even if you go to other countries and speak English 10 years, I mean, maybe you are going to speak very natural but there will be still some things that are going to be like strange. So how is that possible? So that is normal, very normal. Okay, so this is everything for this and we're going to continue with the book. I guess today we're gonna to finish the book actually. So unit four, it says, I will be able to summarize three major challenges retail stores will face as e-commerce grows. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And formulate three tips about future challenges associated to e-commerce for retail stores. And let's check the questions in the part number one. Are online stores popular in El Salvador? What do you think in your opinion? In my opinion, teacher. Go ahead. In in we country, no, it's no, it's popular. No much. No much. Mm -hmm. So it's not that popular, you say? Yeah. In I believe that uh -huh. in in compare with the page years ago, 
now is more popular the online store in the condition of the pandemic. Um, the result of a specific that situation, the, the online store was a uh, answer for for um, you say for effect of pandemic. In my opinion, if I compare with two or three years ago, now it's more popular. Perfect, perfect, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Because of the pandemic, the they uh, they are going more popular uh, online store have uh, more demand very good actually that is true right the pandemic pushes not only in el salvador but around the world this kind of businesses right so because of your need a lot of people they they checked an opportunity and they launched online stores also delivery uh, now is very popular uh, in the past uh, i remember a long time ago i mean i don't know how, how much time but the only the only ones that had that kind of services were the big restaurants so things that were right but now i mean you can you can look over the internet for somebody to 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 deliver something for you in a very easy way so yeah you are right the pandemic pushes this a little bit more and now it's more popular than in the past of course that depends on how many things some people they don't like that and they prefer some classical way to to purchase for example teacher teacher in the facebook there are a lot of the the small uh, retail store um, of a lot of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, and uh, in my opinion, now is increase, increasing mm -hmm. in compared with the few years ago. That is true. So, I mean, a lot of people, they lost their jobs and uh, I mean, you know, necessity is the mother of all opportunities. So sometimes some people, they were looking for a job but because of the pandemic was also difficult to go to interviews and get a new job. So you need to do something, right? And they started doing their own things and they succeeded. So that is very good because uh, there were opportunities. And uh, yes, a lot of entrepreneurs. Now you see a lot of, a lot of people creating nice things here. So it was, it was a very good thing. Um, I remember a book. I don't know if you have seen that one about, uh, it's very popular. It was very popular like 10 years ago. That is Who Killed My Cow? Have you ever read about that one? Or somebody has listened to that one before? Who Killed My Cow? My cow like the animal, right? Nobody. Okay, I will tell you later on today because we need to move on, but it's a very nice story and it refers to Dama. I mean, you need to take the opportunities, right? Because that is important. The next question is says actually, do you think e-commerce will substitute retail stores in the future? What do you believe? I believe this year in the future is possible. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's probably right. Uh, any other comments about this question? Depend of the generation in, in the market, teacher, because there, there are a specific generation and that prefers the physical store. That is true. A lot of people, they prefer to go to the brick and mortar store so they can see for everything, right? And it's like, it's like when, 
it's like uh, people to prefer the bank, go to the bank and not do the transactions online. Maybe they they think that it's more secure, security for, for the transaction, but I prefer online. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's very convenient, definitely. I mean, online yes. is, it's easier, uh, it has a lot of advantages. So, um, and you are right, uh, somebody's there mentioned something that is important. New generations, they are changed. Yeah. I mean, but in e-commerce, uh, I think that, no, because um, sometimes people need to, to see, but with the real, the virtual reality, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there are many other things that may help on this one. Do you remember what is augmented reality that yeah. we checked yesterday? Yeah. So things like that. I mean, yeah, you you want to go to the to the physical store because you want to taste, you want to see, you want to be sure that you are going to like. But what happens if in the future the technology is going to be more into that one? It's not that you, it's not maybe that they are going to disappear, the retail store, the physical stores, but maybe it's going to be a very small place just for you if you want to be sure, but not a lot of people are going to go to the physical store, right? Yeah. If you have... Imagine imagine what the, what, what was you were talking about yesterday about the, the program to paint your house, imagine. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and mine that exists already. I mean, I have it. I still have it there on my cell phone. And uh, I did. I. I mean, in the past, you have to go to the store, yeah, see the colors, the, the catalog. Aha, uh -huh, and think about it. Imagine, yeah, imagine how, how loop. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but now I mean, it's just a matter for you to install the app, go outside, take a picture, and start. Start checking. Actually, I, I remember that I, you can download the picture with different colors, and then you can analyze what is the best one. I like this. This one. No, this is going to be the option. Very yes, cool. it's possible, teacher, that um, with different program of simulation, it's possible in the future that the experience of the self maybe can be similar that the physical, uh, when the, the customer visit the physical store, maybe because, uh, for example, the, the experience with the, uh, you say, uh, fix, I don't know, what do you say? Uh, probar ropa, teacher, is to try clothes. Try, mm -hmm. try, try the clothes, and the experience with the application, the simulation, maybe can be interesting for the for the customer online. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, that depends on all the technology that we're going to have in the future. We know that the world is changing. We have a lot of things right now. Uh, sometimes the problem is that sometimes we do not research only until we have a need. For example, with the app that I, I was telling you about to paint the house, uh, I mean, and to take a picture and just check the colors of the painting before I actually go to the store. I did it because I had a need. I was thinking, uh, how can I do? I mean, there should be a way for me to to see the house in different colors before I actually go to the to the store and buy a painting uh, color that I don't like. I had a need. Also, the other one that I was telling you about the mosquitoes, right? A lot of mosquitoes, and I downloaded an app that sends a sound uh, that only the mosquitoes and the animals can hear, and there was. No mosquitoes. I mean, it was very good because of my need. Maybe exists already a lot of technology that are very good, but we still don't know until somebody says to you, like until you have a need and then you research, right? Because I'm very curious. Sometimes I say, um, 
is it possible to do this? And then I start researching and I find something and I, it's like amazing, right? It's like the projectors that you were saying. I mean, nowadays it's very easy for you to get a projector and project your movies, things like that are very easy. In the past, it was very expensive or not possible. The new accessories, uh, it's possible that the experience um, can be more uh, real, re real with the, the, for example, the, how do you say the, in, in the, in my, my son has the, it's not glass, it's the, how do you say it? I'm sorry. Is, but the simulation. Ah, the virtual uh, reality. In uh -huh. the play. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the virtual reality. So that is uh, a VR, right, for the cell phone. Yeah, he, 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 for the customer, it's possible include in the, in the virtual reality, in the experience is similar. Oh, so, 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 no, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, it's possible in the future complete the old characteristic of the physical uh, visit to a store, uh, a physical store. It's possible. I believe that. That is true. I mean, uh, we are going to depend or the, the e-commerce is going to depend about the technology that we're going to have in the future, right? Definitely. Uh, for example, now there are some stores. I, I don't know if you have seen that, but there are some stores where you can see on the website uh, pictures of the of the clothes in 3D. So you can move it. You can see in the back and the front. And, and I mean, and you and that is that is very good. That is amazing. So uh, if that happens, if the technology continues moving on. Definitely. Maybe it's not going to disappear because we always have to go to the store for many things or for the bank. In mind that you are going to do a big transaction about thousands of dollars. I mean, you have to go to the bank, right? It's not possible to do it there um, on the app unless you transfer the money. But yeah, maybe it's going to be just for a few things. Very rarely you are going to go out. Maybe another problem with this kind of situations is the employment, right? So if the bank, they don't need a lot of cashiers, that is going to impact the economy as well. Uh, or if the stores, they don't need a lot of people selling there and providing you the information and things like that, that is it, right? So if you have a son or a daughter, let them know that they need to learn how to create applications and softwares and things like that. Even if they don't have that career, if they want to study business administration and other things, to learn a little bit about those is important. Because in the future, even if you are going to be the manager of a store, you need to understand about those things. It's going to be important. Good, my friends, so before we do the reading, because this is a reading, of course, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to check the attendance because it's almost nine already, my very fast time flies when we are getting fun. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good, <laughs> the baby's there. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Good. 
Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good, perfect. So now, yes, we are going to continue with the book. So. Okay, so uh, it says, read the article about the influence of e-commerce in the brick and mortar stores. Answer the questions below. So what we're gonna do is as usual, I am going to read and you are going to check the pronunciation and then you are going to read. We're going to split the reading. Uh, so the first person is going to read one and two and the second person is going to read three and four. So it's going to be a little bit faster. But by now I'm going to read and you are going to check the pronunciation, okay? okay. Here we go. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of business. I get somebody to pick up. Hold on. Hold on. La resolución es judicial y la resolución eh, probablemente tenga otros momentos de apelación, pero en esta parte... Oh, God. Okay. So here we go. Again. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of business, it's the online only merchants that are struggling. All but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical chains. Except from Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are old school brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top 100 retailer list from Stores Magazine, a national retail federation publication. In ranking order, they are Walmart stores, Kroger Co., Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Albertsons. Stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order, as factors like shipping and handling charges and the costs associated with increased returns eat into margins. Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge, buying born in the web retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not a viable retail model. Millennials and Generation Z prefer real life stores. Millennial and Generation Z came of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television, for one, both groups actually prefer in-store to digital shopping. Pronunciation questions. Mm 
despite, 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 despite. Any other pronunciation question? When you say brick and mortar, brick and mortar, brick and mortar, brick and mortar. Any other pronunciation question? Struggling, struggling. Struggling. At acquisition binge. At, very good. Acquisition binge. Acquisition binge. Okay. Any other? In the paragraph number four, teacher. Okay. Of time or of team. I'm sorry, which word? Uh, of team. Of time in the paragraph number four. Number four. So, millennials and generations prefer I just don't get the word, but while many of these younger consumers opting, uh -huh. opting, yeah. opting is correct. Yeah, yeah, opting. Yeah, okay, okay. Teacher, in the last paragraph, she came of age amid or amid. You can say amid or amid, both pronunciations amid. are correct. Yeah. Okay, I get it, teacher. Thank you. Any other pronunciation questions? No more. Okay. So now we're gonna read, perfect. So the first person is going to read despite number one and two, and the second person is going to read number three and number four, so we can move on. Osmin, could you please start? Okay, teacher, uh, number one. Despite, from despite. Okay, okay. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce, uh, putting brick and mortar out of business. It is the online only uh, merchants that are excuse me, struggling. struggling. Struggling, okay. Right. Continue, please. Okay. All but, oh, all but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical chains except for Amazon. The top uh, 10 UX, UX retailers are old school brick and mortar retail store according to the top uh, to the top 100 retailer list, list from Store Magazine, a National Retailer Federation publication in ranking order uh, they are Walmart store crusher, see you, uh, cost, Costco, Costco, uh, the Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon, Com, Target, Lowe and Alberstown. Yeah. Please continue. Okay. Store are more profitable that e-commerce brick generate brick gen generate higher number conversion rate that clicks a store purchase is more profitable than and and 
e-commerce order, a factor like shipping and handling chains and the costs associated with increased uh, returns uh, it into margin. Good, perfect. Okay. That is it. Nice. Uh, now the next one is going to be for Sandra Gladys. Mm, number teacher? Uh, three and four, please. Okay. Online retailers are being aided by legacy retailers. Now, Walmart is leading a poor prey acquisition victim, but involved in the well retailers are budging, budging click merchants because online only is not a available retail model. Millennials and Generation C prefer real life store. Millennials and gener Generation C Generation. K on the edge. Generation C chaos age amid the rise of Amazon. Facebook and Insta Many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time only rather, rather than watching television for one. But grooms actually prefer in story to digital shopping. Very good, perfect. And now, Susana, uh, number one, well, the first part, please. Okay, teacher. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of out of business, it is the only online. It, it is the only only merchant that are struggling. Struggling. Number one. All but one of the top ten U.S. retailers are physical change. Except for Amazon, the top 10 U.S. retailers are all school brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top, top 100, retailers is from Stores Magazine, a national retail federation publication in ranking order. They are Walmart stores, Kroger Co., Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon, Amazon, dot com dot com target target low and alberston number two if stores are more profitable than e-commerce bricks generate higher conversation rates that clicks a store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order as a factors like shipping and handling charge and the cost associated with increased returns eating to margin. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, uh, Lourdes, the final part. Okay. Three, online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now, Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge. Buying born in the web retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not viable retail model. Four, millennials and generation C prefer real life stores. Millennials and generation C came of age and made the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television, for one, both groups actually prefer in store to digital shopping. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Jose Ernesto, please start. Uh, despite teacher. Yes, please. 
Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of business, it's the online only merchants that are struggling. Number one, all but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical chains. Except for Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are all school brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top 100 retailers list from Stores Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication. In ranking order, they are Walmart Stores, Kruger Co., Costco, The Home Depot, CBS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Alberstones. Number two, stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handling charge and the cost associated with increased returns eat into margins. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Ada Patricia. Okay, number three. Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. No Walmart is leading a poor play acquisition rate. Acquisition. Acquisition being Buying born in the web retailers, brick merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not viable retail model. model. Number four, millennials and generation C prefer retail real life store. Millennial and generation C come uh, of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while may of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online readers that watching television for one both group actually prefer in a store to digital shopping. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Gloria. Number one. <clears throat> All about? <laughs> From the spite, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, by <blame> my sister. <laughs> okay. The spite, uh, the turn, the turn, the turn about a commerce peeling bright and Mortal out of business. It's the online only merchants that are still still <clears throat> number one. Sorry, number one. Thank you. Are about one of the top ten U.S. retailer and are physical chain, except for Amazon. The top uh, ten U.S. retailer are all. A school brick and, and mortar retail store, according to the top um, uh, 100. 100 retailers, please from store magazine, a national retailer federation publication. In writing order, they are Walmart store, Cronger, uh, CEO, and uh, CEO. Costco, The Home Depot, CBS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, com. Uh, com, Target, Lowe's, and Albert, Albertson. Number two, stores are more pro, pro, uh, profitable. profitable than e commerce. Brick generates higher conversion rates that click a store for sure is more profitable than an e-commerce order 
are specialized shipping and handling shirts and the cost, as you say, as you say, uh, associated. Associated, thank you. Um, with increase returns, it's into margin. Good, very nice. Now, Lourdes. Again, teacher. I'm sorry. Again. Ah, you read ready, that's true. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Rose then. Okay. Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge, buying burn in the web retailers. Big merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not a viable retail model. Millennials and Generation Z prefer real life stores. Millennials and Generation Z came, up, came of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television for one, both groups actually prefer in store to digital shopping. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Anna, tell me. Online retailers are being eaten. Actually, the first part, please. The first part, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, despite all, the rumors about e-commerce, e -commerce, putting brick and mortar out of business. Is the online only merchants that are struggling? And number one, all but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical chains, except for Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are all the school, brick and mortar, mortar retail store. According to the top 100 retailers list from Stores Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication. In ranking order, they are Walmart stores, Roger Co Costco, the Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Albertson. Albertson, yes. Two, store uh, are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversation, conversion rate than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handing shares and the costs associated with increased returns, it into margins. Very good, perfect, nice. Now Ophelia, number three and four. Hello, teacher. Hello. Four teacher. Three and four, please. Okay. Online are reeling, are I ring, acting, I be, relaxing, relax, relatives. I know I one man is really, I put it, I place, I, I, I kissed him, I be, I, I being born in the world. Really, I bring, Marshall, I bring, I, I kiss Mercer because online only is not a very real model. Four, millennials and parenting um, set a favor really differ stop. Mil, mil, millennials and general, general, general set I come us, I rest, I meet at the prison of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. I was willing, I many of these, you 
consumer are offering a same I didn't free the filming on lights uh rusting and dice winning a uh, television for one brown a group actually preferring in in store a store a digital a shopping okay perfect thank you okay uh wilfredo the first part okay um all but one of the top 10 u.s retail retailers are physical chain except for amazon the top 10 u.s retailers are old school bring and and mortar retail store according to the 100 retailer list from store amazon a national retail federation pu publication in ranking order the um, day they are walmart store roger cost costco the home depot cvs walgreens amazon target lois and alberson stores and more profile profitable than e-commerce bricks generate a higher conversation rate that click a store purchasing more prof profitable than an e-commerce order as factor like shipping and handling changes and the cost associated with increased return it into margins okay very good perfect now okay. carla vasquez de la sport number four number three and four please and three and four, okay online retailers are begin earned by legacy retailers now, Walmart is le leading for play acquisition binge. Bojin board in the web retailers, brick mer merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not a viable retail model. Number four, mil millennials and genera generation. Generation C prefer real life store. And teacher, could you up the presentation, please? Thank you. Millennials and Generation C come of age among the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But why many of these younger consumers have opted to spend their free time online rather than watching television. For one, both groups actually prefer in a store to digital shopping. Okay, good. Now, the next one is going to be Zulma. The first part, please. Okay. Uh, despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of business, it the online only merchant that are strolling. Number one, all but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical change. Except for Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are old school brick and mortar retail store. According to the top uh, 100 retailer list from store magazine of a national retail federation publication in ranking order. They are Walmart store, Rower, CO Costo, uh, the Home Depot, 
CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Low and Albertson. Number two, stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Breaks generate higher converse, conversion rates that clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handling charge, charge and the cost associated with increased returns it into margins. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, Sandra Romero. Okay, two, three and four, right? Yeah, please. Okay, three. Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. No Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition being buy and born in the web acquisition. retailers. Acquisition binge. Acquisition bin. Buy and born in the web retailers. Big Americans are buying click Americans because online only is not available retail model. Four, millennials and Generation C prefer real life stores. Millennials and Generation C came of age amid the race of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are open to spend their free time online rather than watching television, for one, both groups actually prefer in a store to digital shopping. Very good, thank you. Next one is uh, Jasmine. The first and the second, right? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, number one, all but one of the top 10 U.S. retailers are physical chains, except for Amazon. The top 10 U.S. retailers are old school brick and mortar retail stores, according to the top 100 retailer list from Stores Magazine, a national retail federation publication in ranking order. There are Walmart Store, Kroger, Kalkatska, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Loves, and Albertsons stores are number two stores are more profitable than e-commerce profitable than e-commerce e bricks generate higher conversation rates than clicks a store push is more profitable than an e-commerce order as factors like shipping and handling charges and the cost associated with increased returns it into margins. Good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ricardo. Okay, number, number? Three and four, please. Three and four, okay. Online relative. Are Retailer. Being... Sorry? Retailers. Retailers are being a by legacy relief. No Walmart is lending a full play uh, action being a acquisition. Being, acquisition being acquisition, acquisition. Being born, born in the very wet relative brings merchant are buoy click merchant because online. Only is not a viable red model. Millennium is and gener generation seed prefer red light store. Millennials and generation seed a came of I Amy Day Rifle of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram, but with many of the wild, but wild. But why consumers are optimized to spin their free, free time online relative to what's watching television for one, what groups actu actually prefer in store to digital shopping? 
Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Walter, the first part, please. Okay. <clears throat> In, <clears throat> all about one of the top 10 USA and retailing our physical times. In Nexon for Amazon, in 10, top 10 USA retailers are all school bread and model retailing story. According to the top 100 retailers, different store and magazine and national retailing a federation <clears throat> publication in a ranking order. They are a Walmart store in Kroger Co. and Cost Cox the home depots and CVAs, uh, Walgreens, Amazon.com target. Dot com. And lowers, punto, okay. And Lois and Alverstone. Two, story and more and profitably, uh, then e-commerce, profitable, and then e-commerce. Big and general hero and conversion and riches that click and story purchasing is more um, profitably uh, than um, he copies orders of factors like chip, chipping and hiring a channels and the cost and associate and associated with an uh, increasing returns hit into margins. 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 Okay, very good, thank you. Now, uh, Nelson, okay. three and four, please. Okay. You hear, teacher? I can hear, yeah. Okay. Number three. Only retailer I are begin aiding be legacy retailer. Eating. Eating by legacy retailers. Eating. Ah, thank you. Eating by legacy retailer. Now, Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition being. Being born in the web retailer, bricks mercantile are being clicks merchant, merchant, merchants because only, only, only is not available retailer model. For millionaires or generation, Generation generation C prefer rate life store. Million and, and generation C can or of as and me and mean the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But will many of those of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time only rated was watching television for one, but group actually prefer in store to digital shopping. Okay, very good. Now, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Not possible, okay. Uh, let's see, Adriana. Hello, teacher. Okay, could you please read the first part? Okay, uh, um, number one. Yes. Number one, all but one of the top, them US, you ask retailer are physical chains. Except for Amazon, top the top 10 US and retailers are old school, bring and motor, motor retail stores according to the top and 100. Retailer list from a stores magazine, a national retail federation publication. In ranking other order, they are Walmart store, Crow, 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 Costco, the Home Depot, 
and CBS, and Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Alberston. Number two, please. Number two, stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generates generates higher higher a conversion higher higher converse conversion rates than that than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order, as factors like shipping and handling chargers charges, and the cost associates associates with greater returns. Okay, it, uh, it's into margins. Very good, perfect. Now, three and four, Pamela. Hello. Online retail, retailers are being aided by legacy retailer. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition. Acquisition. Acquisition by me. Binge. Binge. Buying board in the web retailer. Brick merchant and buy, buying click merchant and sell online only. It's not the able retail model. Four. Millennials and generation C prefer real life stores. Millennials and generation. Mm -hmm. We came to of age and my amid amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger customers consumers are up opting the spend their free time online, ready, rather, 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 uh, yeah, rather than watching television for one, both groups actually prefer in store to digital shopping. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, is it possible for you, Maida? Not possible. Is it possible for you, uh, Michelle? Yes. Okay, go Yes, ahead. in this moment. Okay. Uh, despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of the business, it, it's the online only merchants that are struggling. Number one, all but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical chains. Except for Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are old school brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top 100 retailer list from Stores Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication. In ranking order, there are Walmart Store, Kroger Co., Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Albertson. Number two, stores are more profitable than e commerce. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than clicks, and store pur purchase is more profitable than an e commerce order, as factors like shipping and handling charges, and the costs associated with increased returns it into margins. Very good, perfect. Thank you. And now I don't think anybody's missing. Is anybody missing? Don't think so. Okay, so uh, let's check some words. Despite, remember the pronunciation? Despite, uh, brick and mortar. Uh, uh, this one is online only. Remember this one is merchants, struggling. This one is very important, it's but, but. Okay, if you pronounce that in a different way, it's something different. Uh, let's see, Amazon. This one is Amazon. What else? 
let's see. Uh, conversion, okay, rates. Let's see, margins. Eden. Acquisition. Binge. Uh, let's see. Viable. Uh, there is no other, I guess. Okay, so let's check some vocabulary. What is despite? Despite is when something doesn't affect you. Okay. Okay, that is a good explanation. Despite is very similar when we say even though. Even though, despite all the rumors. Okay, uh, let's see any other. Uh, what is struggling? struggling fighting teacher fighting yeah like you when you have some problems and you're trying to find the the solution something like that was it uh, what is let's see what is a magazine Magazine, similar newspaper. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Similar to newspaper with some publicity and things like that. What is ranking? Okay, when you order something, huh? The list of the orders and compare. Specific, specific characteristics and give a, give a Yeah, actually that is it. Yeah, it's when you put an order with some specific characteristics and you have like different levels, right? Okay. <laughs> what is something that is profitable? Get gains. Very good. <laughs> well, you get some money out of an investment. Good. Let's see. Well, this expression says eat into margins. This one is like when you say that, I mean, there are so many things that you are investing in so many costs that is getting the profit. <laughs> so you are not getting the profit that should because that you should have because something else is getting that money. So it's eating, eating that one. So it's, it's getting that money, that margin of profit. It's bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. This is a bad, bad thing. Something for business that are not currently good. Okay, being eaten. Uh, what is eaten? Do you remember? Pass of eating. The past participle of eating. Very good. So it says online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. So what is legacy? <laughs> The formal retailer teacher? Not formal, but like old. I mean, all that you were the first. So when you say that you have a legacy something, it's because it's one of the first one, one of the previous one. Okay. So actually, that's what it says. Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Legacy retailers, in this case, are the, the classical one. Good. Okay, it says see, acquisition. What is acquisition? 
push or obtain or get. Oh, obtain. obtain, yes. Good, get, very good. And what is being? Binge. I was looking at that word, teacher, but it sounds oh my God. Um, compulsive, maybe? No, no, compulsive. Obstacle, teacher. It might be like obstacle, something that is taking too much time. It's something like that. It's like it's taking a lot of times more than necessary. Something like that. It says, uh, it says born in the web retailers. What is that? Born in the web retailers. New retailers, teacher. Okay, yeah, something like that. New retailers that they don't have physical stores, right? Everything is online. Ah, yes, web, web. Yeah. Web retailers, yeah. That's good. Let's see. Well, what do you understand where it says online only? You can find in physical very good no physical store everything is online, online. Good. uh but well, you know what are millennials and generation z right so uh, it says real life store so this is another name for brick and mortar physical stores right okay h amid uh, or amid mm -hmm. what is that Okay, that is like something that is in the middle of something else. So in this case, it says millennials and Generation Z came, so they came into the world in the middle of the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. So they they are, were they were growing up in the middle of that situation, right? Let's see. And I don't think any other question. Do you have any question? Questions about this one. Okay, let's check the exercise one, two, three, and four here. It says, what is the only retailer that is not a physical chain of retail stores? Aha. A, B, or Z, Kroger Co., Amazon, or Target. According to the reading, of course. So what is the only retailer that is not a physical chain of retail store? I will leave you here. Amazon. Very good. That's the answer. Good, uh, Osmin is Amazon. Number two, it says, what of the following factors makes store purchases more profitable than e-commerce? Store fixtures, building rental deposits, reducing shipping charges. What do you think is the answer? Let's repeat the question. What of the following factors make store purchases more profitable than e-commerce? Reducing the shipping charge. Very good. So. Reducing shipping charges, yeah. definitely. Good. Number three, it says, how is Walmart taking advantage of only online retail models? By buying online retail stores, 
selling products to e-tailers, providing sponsorship. So how is Walmart taking advantage of only online retail models? Buying online retail stores, selling products to e-tailers, or providing sponsorship? Letter E, teacher. Letter. A. A. Buying online retail store. Very good. That's the one. Buying online retail stores. And there is a new word here. I don't know if you know that one. Sponsorship. What is sponsor? Sponsorship. A sponsor is uh, when someone gives you the money. Okay. Yeah, it's when a company, when a company sponsors other companies, like when they provide you either money or products or something like that. In uh, soccer and football, it's, it's very like common. Right? Patrocinio, teacher. Exactly. That is, yeah. Yeah. that is it. They give you the uniforms to the Exactly. To the equipment with the yeah you have, you have to use the name of the uh, like it's this now, right? it's the now name of the company yeah. but it's now but like give it's, you Spotify is going to uh, sponsor Barcelona <laughs> exactly something oh, like that Very oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay number four says who prefers to purchase in retail store click merchants brick merchants or millennials and Gen Z. What might be the answer for number four? Who prefers to purchase in retail stores, physical stores? No answer. We don't know. We will never know. Of course, it's letter C, right? Millennials and Gen Z. They prefer physical store, according to the reading, of course. The real life store is synonym the physical store, right, teacher? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, my friends, do you have any questions before we finish today? Questions or do no you have questions? Yeah. Good, perfect. Okay, my friends. So I'm going to check the attendance. Remember, remember the fifth of November. No, re only, only. I'm sorry, I have a question, but related to the 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 process for complete the platform. Okay. Uh, we can do the final test. Yeah, if you believe you're ready, I mean, it's the same of the other one. So you can move on. You can finish everything if you want. Okay, thank you, teacher. Actually, that's why I was going to tell you, you need to move on. We need to finish this week, meaning uh, around Saturday or Sunday, we need to finish everything. If you still don't have some exercises, yeah. still have time. Remember that on Monday is the final class of this module, right? So for Monday, we're going to do the, um, the survey, the INSOFORP survey. I know that you have experience. I just remember that one, that we are going to do that together. I believe that maybe today or tomorrow you are going to receive the, uh, the information about that one, the link and all the information. Remember that we need to copy and paste. You know, you know how it goes, okay? And uh, any questions before we finish the class, anything? Okay, so we're going to check the attendance. The 101 for today is for Nelson Edgardo. So, so here we go. Uh, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. 
present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzan. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Okay, let's see you tomorrow. Let's see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, buddy. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, Nelson, how are you? Good teacher. Nice, perfect. Nice to see you. And uh, well, uh, you have experience in the one-on-ones, of course. So the first question that I have for you is, how do you feel that you are moving with English? Do you feel that you're learning? How do you feel? Uh, uh, yes, teacher. Uh, in the moment, I ha I I feel that that I learn uh, more and more because I have the uh, 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 in my um, my what uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know explain. Well, I I I, I learn. In the in the in the in the topics only English in the in the in the in the in the cell phone uh, or, or video. Uh, 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 this uh, I have uh, I have more vocabulary. Yes, in in in, uh, in the moment I, I feel that that it advanced. Yes, because I, I, in the next course. Uh, uh, I love this is love the vocabulary the the, 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 the topic the, the 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 dialogue or the fluency in the moment is is advancing yes it, 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 in the topic is difficult for me is in the indeed in the course is a speech oh yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah speech because uh, I have the 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 review uh, all uh, uh, schematic the the, the 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 time in the birth yes uh, for me is difficult but but it's 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 learn more 
more because I have the 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 watch the more video, yes, more video in in English and in Spanish. But but see, I learn, yes. For example, in, in this in the uh, end the class the the end uh, the week uh, when when you is uh, learn uh, in the in the in the in the in the window and you a presentation I understand them more and more yeah very good I'm very happy that you now are moving on and that is that is fantastic and you are right report speech I mean that is is difficult it's a difficult topic. But the good thing is that if you are looking for more information and practicing, it's going to be very good. On the practice, yes. In in in, in interesting the, the the this course is a uh, more grammatic. For example, if and uh, the and the article is zero and D, uh, interesting. Yes, I learn more and more. Teacher. Nice. I'm very happy about that one. So okay. I want to ask you, do you have any questions? Anything that you have a, like a question, doubts? Yes. And the, the platform and yeah. And you finish everything. Yes, the finish. Yes. Nice. That's yes. amazing. Teacher in in the in the uh, any anyone the class uh, uh, uh in the student is a uh, agree um or, or sentence and different topics. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Uh, uh, I see when, when they pass the, 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 the class, uh, uh, the record in, in the platform, uh, 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 and the study, uh, uh, how they write in, uh, or, or sentence, the, the topics, is evaluation. Uh, it's not evaluation, but th this is like participation. You can do it, yeah. So uh, okay. it's, it's possible for you to, uh, yeah. It's like for you to practice. See, instead of the, the topic. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Okay, and, teacher. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel it's good. Very nice. I'm very happy that you're moving on. And it's, it's very interesting because in your profession also, you can, you can implement many things, right? So, yeah, yeah, it's correct. Thank you, teacher. It is very, very good. Is a uh, a uh, 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 Sorry, <laughs> speak to and you. It's good. Ah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Remember that if you have questions, you can do it in the class, or you can chat with me directly, or uh, you can chat in the group, and of course, I will be there for you. Teacher, when I learn or, or I speak. I, I my neighborhood is is terrible. Really? Yes. I <laughs> okay. I don't care. <laughs> yes. That okay. That is Very normal. good, teacher. It's a pleasure. Thank then. you. Okay. Okay. Have bye. a good night. Bye bye now. Okay. Bye. <laughs>